of the year has come again and I am sure all of us will be decorating our houses either by lighting diyas, candles or by decorating them with multicolored lights or bulbs, whatever we get. This year, let us celebrate Diwali, the festival of lights, in a different forward altogether from the way we celebrate in other years. This year, as we light each candle or diya, let us dedicate them to those doctors, nurses, medical staff, medical officials who sacrifice their well-being and even their lives keep the lamp of our lives on. They are those people who extinguish themselves only to keep our candles burning. Let us also remember all those who lost their near and dear ones and the innumerable people still suffering in various ways due to the outbreak of this deadly virus. May the Almighty provide them with healing touch and may His healing touch pierce their dark and gloomy wall and provide them with a much needed solace. May this festival of lights, this season of festivities rather, remove all the darkness of despair Relation, affliction and misery from the lives of everyone. Let's be a bit more compassionate this year. There are millions drowning in tears and many more who are suffering from different critical health issues, primarily chest congestion and breathing problem. The two critical health issues which the people are facing once the virus is taking them in its throes. Every year without even giving a second thought to the environment, we keep polluting it, we indulge in merrymaking by bursting crackers. One year thinking about everyone, thinking about our fellow brethren, we can make a bit of sacrifices, can't we? This year, let's spare our fellow brethren from the unnecessary pollution, the unnecessary harmful smoke that's emitted when we burst these crackers. Let's enable our medical team to work with peace, mental peace, which they need at this hour, so that they work uninterrupted and we don't create unnecessary noise pollution by bursting sound crackers. At least this much we can do for our fellow brethren. It is said that Diwali is that festival which marks the victory of good over evil. So one year let our good side, that's our empathy towards our fellow beings, take the upper hand and curb our selfish interests which is the evil lurking in our hearts and tempting us to indulge in silly frivolities. Bhai Guj follows soon after Diwali. It's not enough that we simply chant our favorite mantra Bhai Kapale Dinam Futa and then eat lip smacking dishes and relish with our relatives and wear new clothes and exchange gifts amongst others. Does the festival mean only this? One such festival that celebrates the true spirit of brotherhood. Let us celebrate the true spirit of brotherhood. How can we do that? We can do that only when we become one with the suffering of our fellow beings. When we understand the pain of one another, then we can say that yes, we have celebrated the festival which unites or rather strengthens in a proper manner. Only then we can say that yes, we have celebrated the festival in its true spirit. Uh, let thoughts like I, me, not 
should be there in our mind and our mind. Rather, it should be more about we, them, us. And uh, these thoughts like my family is safe. Often we keep thinking that I am safe, my family is uh, safe and sound. Then I have enough reason to celebrate. Why can't I just uh, enjoy and uh, like any other year? After all, I don't have any cause for suffering. You are happy with your brother. 